Hey guys, it's Sarah with ExtremeTerrain.com, and in this episode of Throttle Out, we're gonna check out five great first modifications that I picked for the Gladiator. After a long hiatus, the Gladiator is back and becoming one of the more popular choices for off-road vehicles. Because of this, the aftermarket support for Gladiator is huge and growing every day. This is great for Gladiator owners, but can get overwhelming when you're not sure where to start modifying your new addition. So to kick off your modification inspiration, I chose five mods for the Gladiator that would be great beginning modifications. And in this video, I'll break down each of my picks and why I chose them. So without further ado, let's jump into my picks for the Jeep Gladiator's first five mods. The Gladiator is a unique creation that marries a lot of the characteristics of a truck with that of a Jeep. Most trucks have a slight rake from the factory and the Gladiator is no exception. This means the back of your Gladiator is gonna sit a bit higher than the front to aid in towing or hauling. For those of you who don't like this look or don't plan to tow on a daily basis, a leveling kit is a great solution to even out the factory rake. A leveling kit, as the name implies, brings up the front of your truck so it sits more level with the rear. Also, if you're looking to comfortably add larger tires, a leveling kit will ensure you have more than enough room to run larger wheels and tires by giving you that suspension lift in the front. Now, a lift kit will also remove the factory rake and allow you to run larger tires, but they can get much higher price-wise because they require additional parts and a much more involved installation process. A leveling kit is a great entry-level and much more budget-friendly solution. So with that in mind, I chose the Terraflex 1.5-inch Performance Spacer Leveling Kit because it's a relatively simple and budget-friendly way to level your Gladiator. The leveling kit allows for the addition of up to 33-inch tires for Sport or Overland, which comes stock with a 31, and can fit up to a 35-inch tire for Rubicons, which comes stock with larger 33s, thanks to their more roomy wheel wells from the factory. With this setup, you will still have plenty of clearance when driving and during light off-roading. And this kit consists of two strut spacers for each side that will increase the height of the front of your Gladiator one and a half inches, giving it a more level appearance. The spacers feature polyurethane construction and the kit includes spacers as well as bump stop extensions and all the hardware you need for installation, simplifying the installation process. Although this leveling kit is considerably less complicated to install than a full lift kit, you will still need a professional lineman afterwards. And because this kit features direct bolt-up installation, there's no permanent modification to your Gladiator if you choose to go back to stock or to upgrade to a lift down the road. Lifts or leveling kits just beg for aftermarket wheels and tires, so now that our Gladiator is leveled, let's move on to our next mod, wheels and tires. I chose this 17x9 Mammoth Boulder Wheel in black, wrapped in this Falcon Wild Peak All-Terrain Tire in a 285-7017, which is the metric equivalent to about a 33-inch tire. I went with an All-Terrain because it really is the best of both worlds. You get the upgraded look and function over an all-season tire like the ones that come factory without going all out on a mud terrain. These are going to give you more grip in off-road situations, but the all-terrain isn't going to be as noisy as a mud terrain when you're driving on the highway. If you're looking for the best of both worlds and you're planning to take your Gladiator off-road on occasion, or you just want some added performance to your daily driver, these tires are an excellent choice. This 17x9 Mammoth Boulder Wheel features one-piece aluminum construction with a matte black finish. They have an offset of negative six millimeters with 4.76 inches of backspacing, so they give you a bit wider and more aggressive of a stance when compared to factory. And although the wheel diameter is similar to stock, the Mammoth Wheel's design is a nice appearance upgrade over the factory wheels. Wheel style really comes down to personal preference, and I like this particular set because it delivers that subtle but upgraded look. This setup fills the wheel well nicely and still leaves you room for the suspension to travel without hitting or rubbing. New territory for the Jeep is the addition of a bed. It's great for hauling and gives you more versatility over a traditional Jeep. Many truck owners choose to add a tonneau cover to protect the contents of their bed from the elements and would-be thieves, but they also deliver the added bonus of a more sleek appearance. There are many different styles of tonneau cover and they all have their pros and cons. Trifold style tonneau covers are one of the more popular styles because of ease of operation and the versatility they provide. 
They offer protection from the elements and a hard cover specifically provides protection from would-be thieves, all while offering an easy install to boot. I think the trifold style combines all of the best features that you want out of a Tano. So let's get into why I chose this rough country, low profile, hard trifold Tano cover as one of my first five mods. This Tano is constructed from a heavy duty aluminum frame with aluminum cover panels and a sleek black powder coat finish. Because it is a low profile cover, it sits lower than some other options, giving you that sleek and subtle look. In addition, the trifold style folds all the way up to the front of the bed in seconds, so you can still haul larger cargo. As I said before, this Tano is a hard cover, taking it a step further than a soft cover, providing you protection from theft as well as the elements. This Tano is one of the best all-around choices because of its ease of install, folds in seconds for stress-free operation, and will still save you some cash over more expensive options. So we've covered suspension and appearance mods. Next, let's get into a popular choice to add some performance. In general, cold air intakes are a first modification for a lot of enthusiasts. They're relatively easy to install, not very expensive, and they help your engine get some more airflow, which translates to power gains and improves sound as well. I decided to go with the Red Rock 4x4 cold air intake. This cold air intake improves airflow to get you more power and better throttle response over the restrictive factory intake. It features a polished aluminum intake tube with a reusable high flow air filter. The filter adds another benefit to this intake. You do not need to keep buying air filters for your Gladiator every 100,000 miles or so. You can clean and re-oil this high flow filter, saving you some extra cash in the process. It also features a bolt up install with no tune required, meaning after bolting it on, you're good to go. Where some of the modifications we talked about are popular for trucks, this next one is popular in the Jeep world. Because the Gladiator is a Jeep at the end of the day and therefore off-road capable, I think it could benefit from a more capable bumper. Bumpers are a great choice for the off-roader because they allow you to run a ton of off-road accessories like additional lighting, tow points, and a winch in some cases. This video, we are installing a front bumper to represent this category, but rear bumpers are also available to match. I chose the Barricade Adventure HD front bumper. This bumper does a great job of showcasing all of the features that adding a bumper will get you, all while keeping costs down. This Barricade bumper offers beefier steel construction when compared to the factory bumper, and some aftermarket style with the overrider hoop and sleek black textured powder coat finish. It works with your factory fog lights to keep all of your factory functionality while adding a ton more features. This bumper is winch capable, and comes with mounting points to add lighting as well and includes D-rings which will outperform your factory tow hooks. Where a recovery strap can slip off of a tow hook, these D-rings keep straps secure and are rated up to 9,500 pounds. The winch plate included on this bumper allows you to mount up to a 12,000 pound winch straight to your bumper without the need for additional brackets or modification. There are also several mounting points for the addition of pod lights or a light bar to give you more opportunities for customization. It hits all the important points you would look for in an aftermarket bumper while saving you significant dough over other options with the same features. So that is gonna do it for the first five mods I chose for the Jeep Gladiator. I want to hear what you guys think or what you would pick in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video for more content like this and subscribe to see detailed installs of these products and many more. And remember, for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.